Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your March love reading. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. Returning, thank you so much for coming back. So, Gemini, we're going to take a look at a love connection that you feel you have at this time. So, this has to be an actual connection. You have to at least know each other, and you have to believe you have to have what you believe um, is a, some sort of connection between the two of you. You don't necessarily have to be together. <clears throat> so we'll see what's going on for you in love at this time for Gemini. So welcome, Gemini. Hope everybody's doing well. Welcome in. And uh, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Only take what resonates. Throw away the rest. If it's not fitting for you, don't try to make it fit. Could be past, present, or future. Male or female watching this. Doesn't matter. So I do say at this time, because I do consider all my readings timeless, so if you'd like to go back, watch past readings. Links are below in the description box to your love in general playlist, along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip or donate, send a gift. All that information is below and I will pin some of that info to the top comment also. And also another way to tip or donate if you prefer Super Chat during the premiere, which you, you are watching now, Super, Super Chat is open. If you wish to send a small donation or tip of some kind in that way, then feel free to do that. And if you do, thank you so much. <clears throat> so Gemini, this is a Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet, and we'll see if you may be dealing with some energy here. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. So for Gemini, love for March at this time, whenever you see this, what do we have for Gemini in love spirit, please? Thank you so much. That is your card. Let's see what we have. So we have Taurus. So some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or they could have it heavily in their chart. If you're not, totally fine. So let's see. Gemini. First thing I'm going to do here is sort of get a love connection energy between you and your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time. See what the connection energy is like. So what is the connection between you and your person? Wow, attraction. So you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So there could definitely be someone you're attracted to, mutual attraction, or this is being in a high vibration, sort of like using the law of attraction to draw somebody to you. So Gemini, let's see. So Gemini, I'm going to draw one for you, one for your person, how you're feeling about each other in the connection. I'll put you on this side, Gemini, your person on this side. But if any time throughout this reading you feel like the energies need to be switched, reversed, please do that any time throughout this reading. This is a general collective reading. So let's get one for Gemini. One for Gemini. How are you feeling about your person? What are you thinking about for this reading? And then one for you. How is your person feeling about you? New love. Oh, so you have here, Gemini, wedding. The situation involves marriage. And then your person here has a new love. A new person has sturdy romantic feelings. So this is a new love. And I feel like you want a commitment like now. Because <laughs> the Taurus does represent the Hierophant in the Tarot, which is the card of marriage and commitment. So there definitely is attraction here between the two of you. <clears throat> They're feeling like it's still very new, but definitely is love. And you're feeling like you want like this commitment like now. <laughs> it doesn't have to be wedding, just could be like commitment, passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So attraction, passion, new love, commitment. Wow. Gemini. What's going on here? So let's pull some tarot on this. The Gemini. And I just like to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Those who have tipped or donated, sent a gift. Those who have reached out for personal reading. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support. And we just reached 10,000 subs. So in honor of that, <clears throat> I am doing a giveaway. So you can win a tarot deck and also a 20-minute free reading of your choice by me. I will do your reading with that tarot deck, and then I will send that send you that tarot deck. So if you'd like to enter the contest, I'll put a link below in the description box, and probably also the top comment. It'll take you to the community tab where I have made a post 
about the contest. There you'll find all the information you need on how to enter. And it will be open till the end of March. I will close it April 1st. And then I'll pick a winner. So if you feel free to check that out if you are interested in that. And if you do, thank you and good luck. All right. So Gemini, let's see what's going on here. Gemini, why is wedding here for Gemini? Gemini, Gemini, why is wedding here for, wow. So, so we have the two of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. No, we have the two of wands and the eight of pentacles. So the two of wands is an energy of kind of being at a crossroads and needing to make a decision which path to go down. And the eight of pentacles is about working on things, working in, putting dedicated effort into a situation. So I think you made a decision that you definitely want to work on this connection. You definitely want to work on it. I still feel like it's fairly new, but you're ready to put the work into a commitment already in this connection. So what is this new love here for your person? For Gemini's person, why is new love here? Wow. So, <laughs> holy crap. So they have, actually, they have the wedding card, the commitment card, the st home stability, home life, celebration, ceremonies. And now we have the Eight of Wands here, which is Cupid's Arrows, fast action, travel, communication. Wow. So <laughs> you actually are both in the same energy of wanting to, like, move this forward very quickly into like a committed relationship already it's like you both feel the mutual passion attraction love wanting to just commit already maybe even move in together already wow wow moving very quickly here all right gemini wow so let's see gemini what is the actual <clears throat> situation for you gemini that kind of gives me the actual situation, but you have both kind of in the same energy here. For Gemini. So we have the Ten of Pentacles, and there's another marriage wedding card. Long-term commitment, stability, abundance, long-term family dynamic, legacy of a family dynamic, sharing everything together. Wow, so there is the wedding card. Wedding twice on your card, marriage. Queen of Pentacles, so there's your Taurus person, Virgo, Taurus, a Capricorn. You see them as very someone very stable, grounded, nurturing, caring, giving. They have a lot of value and worth. You know their value and worth. Like here is like the offer coming in right here. Here's the Pentacle coming in. Will they accept it? But we do have the Hangman between the two of you, which is kind of like a pause or a break or... Not really taking action right now, but it's enlightenment. It's gaining a new perspective. So maybe there's been a little pause or break between you for some reason. It's too many. So let's get a couple more for the situation for our Gemini. The Hermit. Yeah, so that's another energy of like retreat mode, doing uh, a lot of thinking searching soul searching contemplating healing energy the emperor so taking lead taking control wow a lot of um majors on their side but in the middle is the hanged man <clears throat> i feel like you're really hung up on one another here really hung up on one another they definitely see you as they are divine masculine or you are the divine masculine and seeing them in that way with the emperor energy taking lead control charge of the situation done that deep soul searching work and now i know i need to take lead control and be the emperor in the situation and come forward and this person here i yeah i feel like you're both in the same energy of wanting like to get married long-term commitment move in together like you both had this boom awakening. Okay, this is my person. We got soulmate twin flame energy here with the four of wands. 
We have marriage, marriage, mar three cards of marriage. Wow. So let's see. And if you count Taurus as the Hierophant, that would be uh, four cards. All right. So let's get advice. Let's get advice for this connection. The Queen of Wands, very fiery, passionate, go-getter energy. Going after what you want. The Nine of Cups, so wishes and dreams coming true. Happiness, joy, fulfillment. Seven of Pentacles. And now the King of Pentacles. So we have divine counterparts here with the king and queen of pentacles so definitely soulmate energy here so we got the king and queen of wands too i'm not getting like third party energy but uh we do have the king and queen of pentacles so definitely doesn't matter the suit definitely soulmate energy here But what I'm feeling with the Queen of Wands, um, you know, going after what you want, a lot of drive, ambition, and passion to your wish fulfillment, making a wise investment here with the Seven of Pentacles to your soulmate because we've got the King and Queen of Pentacles. So that's your advice. Go after your wish fulfillment. Invest in this wisely. This is a soulmate couple here. Go after a lot of drive, ambition, ambition, and passion between you. So let's see. Let's see what the possible outcome is here. So we have these three fall out in a clump. So we got the five of pentacles. We have justice. And we have the ten of cups. So... I feel like here justice will be served in this situation. There will be open communication. There will be balance. There will be, you may have stormy days ahead of you as with any relationship, but I feel like you're heading to your Ten of Cups, happy home and family, happiness and joy, fulfillment in every single way. The scales balancing out, having peace, harmony, balance, justice in this connection. There may have been um, maybe a period or a time when you may have to be apart from one another or or there may be monetary lack in a situation but balance will come in justice will come in in this connection and you can come out of the rainy days you may go through and head to your ten of cups happy home and family fulfillment so on the bottom yeah soulmate union here with the two of cups I felt that fighting for it, not giving up through troubled times or rough, hard times, you know, resting, relaxation, retreating kind of energy. Though we do have mental blockages here with the eight of swords and feeling kind of disenchanted with the four of cups. But, you know, through the hard times when you feel like mental entrapment and feeling kind of like disenchanted, through hard times you always need to have truthful honest communication between the two of you again with the honest truthful communication through the hard times with the tower moment through conflict you will find balance peace harmony patience even through stress worry fear and anxiety you are still soulmates lovers twin flames possibly so soulmates here so we have Gemini, we have Sagittarius, we have Aries. I feel like that you be able to conquer everything together, no matter what comes your way, no matter what you go through, whatever troubled times come, I feel like you'll be able to get through it. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And we have Taurus there. Uh, let's see, we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, we have Pisces, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra. So those are the main signs that I see. So let's get some extra messages 
I feel like this is a connection that can withstand the test of time, get through any troubled times, hard times, triumphantly, especially with the Justice card here, that this can withstand like the test of time. Wow. Okay. So let's get some extra messages for you. And maybe you are married. Or maybe you're going through a troubled time right now and you're wondering, you know, what's going on and you come here looking for answers and I feel like justice will prevail and things will be fine, that you both are strong enough to get through anything that comes your way. All right, so let's get some extra messages here for you. Gemini, <clears throat> Gemini, if you knew, I do ask... If you feel free to check out my channel, you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get five readings a month. You get two love, two general, and a bonus reading. And if you do, thank you. All right, so cancer, cancer. I don't know why I said that. Maybe some of you are dealing with a cancer. Gemini, Gemini. Let's get some extra messages for you, Gemini. Gemini, this deck is hard to shuffle because of its shape, but let's get some messages for Gemini. Whoa. For Gemini, please. Thank you so much. Oh, let's take these two. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of circumstances you currently find yourself in. So I feel like you can get through any circumstances you and your person that come your way surrender at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives let go and all will work out so just know that whatever you can go whatever you go through you just need to surrender it let let it go and everything will just work out and i told me to take from the bottom of the deck look deep within your heart and you will feel my love my love for you is deep as the ocean so a lot of lot of love here Definitely soulmate twin flame energy. Okay, this one now. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities, possibilities for your life. So just let things that happen, troubled times, turmoil, let it go, surrender. It is what it is. Let it dissolve. Let the unwanted go, and all new possibilities will come in between you and your person. You have new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your life, live your dreams passionately. So new beginning with this person. This definitely with new love here. Could be could be new love or it could be now just a new committed love and now moving forward. Maybe a new engagement or something like that or being committed for the long term. Finally making that decision between the two of you. Wow, Gemini. Okay, Gemini. Best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.